What up guys, Shuttle here, and today you join me on another Hearthstone video. Today we're going to be doing the deck spotlight for my mech mage. And I apologise, there was no uh, actual uh, deck list on the side of the screen in the last episode. I made sure to do it uh, this episode. We're going to jump into a ranked game here. Boom, ranked, TA, rank 14. And the end of the season is in, I think, two days or one day, depending. Technically it's one day because we're actually in the 30th today. It's actually Friday because it's actually after half, uh, after midnight. So that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, um, slat sad, I guess, because, uh, I'm not going to get my sleep, but oh well, you know, sleep is for the week and stuff like that. But, uh, we're going to go to the first game here. And, uh, I was about me not going to sleep. I'll be fine. Um, so this is a really nice hand. We're going to get rid of the spider tank. We don't really need it. And then we're just going to pass on our turn to this priest. Uh, this is actually really, really, really good. Uh, start in hand because we're going to be able to get we're going to play our whole hand on turn 2 which is pretty awesome um, so that's pretty cool so we're going to play this guy on turn 1 and on turn say hello hey there sir how's it going my friend what are you going to do today greetings greetings coining into a what okay that's kind of value thank you there we go. So we trade here so he can't actually do what we're trying to do, which is get this guy out and then flood the board. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Turn 3, we've got this guy. Turn 4, we'll ping and hit, hit and stuff and see what we draw. Let's break up this board because, you know, we don't like the board. The board is annoying. Die, what about it? Glass could die. Okay, he's got another one. So we'll ping and hit with our former gnome. That's actually a really good draw. That kind of fits in the curve nicely. So we'll do this, and then play this, then hit. So he doesn't actually have another Met Warper. I could have just used both of his. And I can make this a 3-2. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I have to admit, I'm going to play this next turn. And maybe switch this to be a 3-2. Even though 2-3 two, is actually stronger. Because they trade work better. But uh, I'll definitely trade this. Because I'm going to trade this. Don't power... Oh, you powered shield. That's fine. I'll just switch. Switch this. This... There you go. And then we are like, wait, first let's see what this, because we may get a better one. Okay, no, we do. So we switch this guy. Hit. Hit. There we are. We're just going to control this board. Slowly gain a board. I wanted to play the more kind of board control version that you can play this deck. Because I want to try it out. See how it is. Um, I think it actually requires a little bit more, in quotes, skill. Even though Half is a very skill based game, but in the first place, that's going to cause some controversy. Oh, hurrah. Um, than uh, some other games are. So, you, why does he keep playing stuff I can just play into? We're going to play this first because there is a chance this dies for free. Sorry. And then we get four more damage to the face. Um, we'll make that guy taunt because why not? It's a nice, we got very nice board coming along. Let's make synergies, and we actually have 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. 14 damage, plus 6. Uh, if you didn't wipe up all, we would have actually had lethal. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty cool. So we just, we're just going to hit, uh, play this, and then ping. We're just going to keep up with the board, because he's, we don't need a card advantage when we have this board. The main idea of this deck, as I said before, in the last, uh, in the depth spotlight, is um, the idea of just getting board control, keeping it, and then just, and up be able to hit your uh, opponent down. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into the second game here. I'll be right back in a moment, guys. What up, guys? We are back, and we're going to be heading into the second game here. The second it wants to load. There's our worthy opponent. That's pretty awesome. So I hope you guys actually really did enjoy the uh, kind of heirloom spotlight. There'll be the warrior changes hopefully out um, for tomorrow when this video comes out. So Saturday, hopefully. Uh, they, I would have done it, filmed it tonight, however, the PTR was actually offline when I uh, tried to go and film it. So, um, that's unfortunate, but uh, we're actually going to keep the Met Warper and the Snow Chugger here, because uh, this would be a really strong start if we're against a Zulok. Uh, it would have been nice to go second, because then we could have coined into this guy, and then we had a nice curve, so one and two. But it's fine, don't worry about it, we just uh, had to push our curve a little bit back a turn, that's fine, we send a turn. Because we've got nothing to do on turn 1. We're going to slowly break up the board again. Because that seemed to give us good luck last time. Even though we had a dream start in the dream RNG. For the whole time, that's 100% fine. 
Uh, I think I'm just going to just actually shoot that because there's no hurry in really getting this guy out because I can actually get quite a nice combo in its turn by playing this guy followed by this guy anyway. Uh, so as you get the same board, uh, I just kind of gain like two... He gains two health by me not being able to attack here. But I would have had a trade with this. Like it's a Murloc deck. This is a really interesting kind of Murloc deck. So in some ways I want to keep this guy. But we have got two of them so we're just going to play him anyway. And then we're going to play this. Because this kind of contests the board here. So if he even if he does trade here. Then he can't trade here. And this will be left on one health. Um, so we're still... It's going pretty well right now. Uh, on the board control. And then next turn we'll probably play this. That's really bad. Go for the face. Go for the face. Go for the face. Go for the face. No face. Face. Oh. Okay. So ping that. I think. Uh. Waste two mana by doing that. If we play this, he trades and kills us for free. We play this. He trades this for free. We play this. We don't get the buff, so we just ping and pass. It's actually going to be stronger. Especially if we top deck a Frostbolt. Uh, could actually have to use all your mana per turn. But I like to play on curve. Because that's how you normally win most games. Uh, in my opinion. He's going to tap here. And it's a very murloc kind of style deck. As you can see here. So the fact it's turn 5. And he's only got us down 7. Is really really good for us. Uh, it would have been nice to get a better start. But you know what can you do. Um, what do I don't want to do here. I think I want to do... This, followed by ping to the face, I ping to this. He's going to trade this into here, so we ping this, so then this dies. Because if we hadn't, this would have gone on to one health and we had to waste two mana doing it next turn. And we had two mana left over from the last turn anyway, so that's pretty awesome. He's going to tap again, what's he going to get, what's he going to get, what's he going to get. Okay, that's fine. We're going to flame strike on turn seven, um, because otherwise we're just going to die. So that's pretty strong. Um, that's kind of a good thing to hit. Uh, sorry. Let's go for this guy. See what we hit. Okay. So we'll hit here as well. And we'll ping that guy. So then that's pingable next turn. We might actually be able to hold off on the flame strike. But um, he has got 6, 7 damage. At the moment I'm just trying to live. Uh, not really kill him. Because if I gain board control, which I'm not going to do against a Murloc, uh, Warlock anyway, uh, then I will actually win. Uh, this is actually, I'm going to need to flame strike because he pushed me above up a turn anyway. So this is actually fine for me to flame strike this board. And then run it all into the face. And that's actually really good. Um, we're just going to do this and then play this. Hey! Sorry. I think I'm dead, to be honest. But, uh, you know, we wiped his board. My magic will tear you apart. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Dart bomb. Don't have two damage. Don't have two damage. Don't have two. No, I can't even say well played. Ah. Well, that was a good well played, sir. And uh, I'll see you guys in the third and final game. What up guys, we are back and we're going into the third and final game for this gameplay video of the Mech Mage. So we're 1-1 at the moment, so hopefully we'll be at 2-1. This is a interesting hand, not very good one though. So we're going to get rid of all of it. There we go, there's the mulligan. Get rid of all that stuff. That's good. That's not so good. That's not so good. This is a good card. This is not a good card to get in your start hand. This is not a good card to get in your start hand. Well, it's okay. These are okay because they sort of allow me to play on curve. But that's about the only plus points there. So we're going to skip turn one. As usual. Why is that well played? Um, and then we'll play turn two. That's bad. I Actually, that's all right. Because he then freezes it and then I ping it. So we do this. And this stays on one health. Hopefully he won't have one. Because well, he, he can hit and then heal. Which is bad. But that means I just hit and ping. Uh, okay. I still just hit and... Interesting. So I think I just do... 
No, the play is obvious. The play is completely obvious because he's obviously going to kill this next turn. So I want more of these. These were overpowered. So I use the duplicate. And I hit his face. Because then. Because if I did this, this wouldn't have triggered. And that's just because I'm not going to have a weapon. He's really going to hit my face. Okay. Well, that's just going to stay there then. And you're going to let me do this. And I'll probably trade away with this guy. Like so. And I'm back on 30 health. And now I can get two of these guys. Yay! And that's actually going to be better for me. Uh, especially from my next turn. is going to be Harvest Golem into Ping. That's bad. Do not circle. Do not circle. Do not circle he of healing. Ah, uh, yeah, the circle of healing. Okay. Okay. So, what do we want to do here? That's a really good card. So we do that, and then we do this, and then we do this. Kill that for free, because this makes him sort of think, okay, so I want to trade this here, or kill this with a spell. And then I get two of them, and that synergizes with this. So then we get eight shoots. Yes, yes, thank you, sir, for giving me two more of them. You're very kind. Good sir. And he's going to draw a card. I don't care if you draw your cards. Because I just want to blow you up with fire. My blast mages will blow you up. Now, flame strike will be a very good card to have right now. But I don't have flame strike. So, just going to do a similar thing to flame strike, which is this. This has gained him another card. However, I can ping that. And then he doesn't get any card draw. And we're going to hit face because there's no point in actually trading. Because they're going to go down to one health. And we're probably going to be able to kill them next turn with this. Anyway. Because even if he kills this he has to kill both iterations. And I can always just summon this guy uh, next to this guy next turn anyway. So that's pretty awesome. And that way I play on curve. So I'll probably do that anyway. Holy Nova. That's 100% fine. Uh, that would have been really bad if he did have the Northshire Cleric still up though. Because he would have drawn two cards there. And he doesn't want my mechs around. So he's going to actually trade away the board. There we go. And does he have a way to deal with this? No, he does not. Okay, that's pretty good for me. Snow Chug is good. So let's play this guy. See what he hits. Okay, that's fine. I can uh, I then trade the here. And then we draw two cards. Because then I can just kill him with this next turn. And I'm back with 30 health. And he's done nothing. And has drawn a lot more cards than me. And I still have somehow have a card advantage. Because I've actually controlled the way he's drawn. And he hasn't actually been able to draw a lot. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, can I? I take fire to the face. Okay. He doesn't even kill off his board. That's kind of a terrible play. No, that's bad. You shouldn't have done it. You should have pinged this. But, you know... That I just ping, and then I gain the health back that you just did. So, good job, friend. And then we do this. This is going to be the play. Then he trades here. I get five health. Thank you very much. He's on three cards. I'm on five. It's pretty awesome. Looks like we're going to have this game wrapped up. He's probably going to circle again. I think he has used both his circles. No, he's going to silence. Okay. It doesn't work on your minions, though. So, thank you for the health, sir. That's very kind of you. Trade this here. Give me that for free. Let me get the spare part. Something need tinkering. That's kind of cool. Let me draw. See what we draw. Uh, and then we'll play this guy. Spider tank. This is where we start actually coming back to be able to get the heavy hitters down. And just be able to flood the board. And just be able to win. Uh, really? You would waste a pain on that. Okay. And he's going to nick uh, probably some mechs. Uh, he makes a pointless mad scientist that's really unhelpful for him. And he's then going to heal. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That means he gets like no value at all. And that's really, really good for me. Because uh, then we do this. We kill this for free. We play this for cheap. This for cheap. This for cheap. This for cheap. Have a full board, sir. How's that for you today? How's your full... How's your nice full board today going... It's going pretty well for me uh, right now with the nice 
Let's clean full board. I don't think he... If he stole a flame strike, I'm just going to just concede because I'm going to cry. Um, that's bad if you don't have a mech. And, uh... Oh, if that would be just an insult or injury if you attack that. So now we're just going to play all the cards in our hand. What do we taunt? Let's taunt this guy. Shoot, shoot, hit, hit, hit. We win. Have fun. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe if you did, please that like and that favorite button helps out a lot. And leave me a comment on what you thought of this deck. And uh, I've got a new kind of Wind Fury deck idea planned for next week's uh, deck spotlight kind of uh, idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed once again. I'll see you guys next time. Farewell. If you guys missed the deck spotlight, make sure you hit the right link if you'd like to see the heirloom tab overview on the PTR 6.1. Make sure you hit the left link and I'll see you guys next time.